Joining me is Warren Mundine, a former National President of the Labor Party and former advisor to two Liberal Prime Ministers. Warren, great to see you again. Um, did great to Duck see you. and Little Proud make a mistake? Did they make a mistake by picking a white guy like Lisa as Indigenous Affairs Minister and not Jacinta Price? Look, they should have at least uh, made her a, a, an assistant shadow minister, just like the uh, the Labor Party did with with their team. Uh, you know, they've they've been grooming them and, and getting people up. Now, you could you could say that she's only been there a couple of weeks, but uh, that assistant shadow uh, minister for Indigenous Australians would have been a great title for her. Would have gave her a great mouthpiece to get out there and argue the cases. Look, uh, look, Jacinda Price is not going to go to the uh, to the Parliament to be a, a quiet person sitting there. In fact, I'm looking forward to... In fact, I think I should sell tickets to the uh, to see her and Lydia <laughs> Thorpe have their first battle over the in the Parliament because she, she is right, you know. We have a great liberal democracy in Australia. We have a great constitution. Uh, we, we fought for decades. My parents, my grandparents and, and, and that before me fought for decades for equal rights for Aboriginal people, you know, in this country. And, uh, and, and we got it, you know, name me a law that is against Indigenous people today. And, you, and there's none. And, you, and look at the opportunities that happen. You, you just talked about the 10 people in, in Parliament now. There could be an extra one because I haven't caught up with the count today, but the uh, Liberal candidate in South Australia, uh, Little, is an, a woman of Aboriginal descent and she's, she's leading at the moment, so she could be in the Parliament. That's 11 uh, uh, Indigenous people. So, uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's, I just find it... No one's convinced me about why do we need this about a voice to Parliament, and that's number one. Number two, why does it have to be in the Constitution? Uh, well, you know why. You know exactly why, Warren. Because <laughs> I know. I'm being, I'm being cute. <laughs> before it was in the before it's in the Constitution, you might not want it, and yeah, and the government might sack it like they did with the uh, with ATSIC, which was the first run when they realised it was uh, corrupt, inefficient, whatever. It was just hopeless, and they sacked it. That's well, why, that's, Warren. Um, yeah, that's exactly look, right. It's so interesting, that's exactly like you said. Right. Yeah, you. The, when it's that was sacked in 2005, in they said we're not. Got, these elitists, these people, they they uh, uh, you know they come out and said that we're going to make sure it's in the constitution, so this can never happen again. So could you imagine ADSIC and, and, and previous committees that would have been set up in the constitution? We wouldn't be able to get rid of them. But, this is, but it's so arrogant, too, that, you know, we make a decision now to put it in the Constitution mm. to tie the hands of people a generation or two generations from now. They can't get rid of a racist proposal, even though, you know, by that time, anyone, everyone knows it's, it, it's not needed. They can't get rid of it. It'll be a wonderful gravy train for a few. I can imagine Bruce Pascoe's the Speaker of this new <laughs> uh, advisory parliament. Um, Warren, but explain the big picture to me. You know, for, the most, for most of the past 60 years or more, we were told, and I believe correctly, to judge people by their character and not their race and to treat each other as individuals, not members of a race, not to divide ourselves like that. Let me play you two famous examples of what both you and I thought were the great, you know, was this great goal. One is from Martin Luther King, of course. Yeah. The other from US President Barack Obama just seven years ago. Have a listen. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the colour of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. A politics that's based solely on tribe and ethnicity is a politics that's doomed to tear a country apart. It is a failure. A failure of imagination. Those two men were heroes of the left, Warren. Can you explain to me why the left is now trying to do exactly the opposite to this country to now divide us by race? Well, the left has, has gone along with a lot of things. You look at the, look at the uh, uh, you know the woke attacks that are happening now, and, and and you look at Black Lives Matter, and you look at a whole wide range of things of dividing people, and they're saying that we're a racist country in the world. Sure, we we're like 
every other country in the world, we have races, but but we are not a racist country. You, are, you know, we have done so many great things in this in uh, to help Aboriginal people. Uh, we've we helped education programs. We've got all these people into university. We've got a whole heap of things going. We just got a Supreme Court judge appointed in in Queensland uh, that. At the t I just find this funny. At the time that there's more representation in in Parliament, there's more reputation, uh, representation in local government and state governments and territories than we've ever had before. And here they're saying, but we need an, uh, in, uh, an Aboriginal voice. Well, whose voices are they talking about? We have these people there, you know. I, I, vote, I vote for people who are going to do a job for me. I'm not, you know, it's irrelevant... Who, uh, their Correct. religion or their faith or whatever, it's about doing a job. And, 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 and all those people in Parliament deserve to be there. The people of Australia have chosen them and that's what it should be about. It shouldn't be about, oh, we have that a special is the group voice. over here. Mm. No, that's, that's the voice. Mm. One Parliament, one people. Warren Mundine, always great Thank to you. talk to you. Thank you for your time.